Hello and welcome to my autumn term podcast for this new academic year. What a lovely start it's been. Let's have a look around school, see what's going on. Have you met Kelly? Ke- Kelly's my school business manager. Hello. Sh- she's around to help when sometimes I'm a little bit too busy. And thanks to Billy. Hello. Billy's been keeping the site looking really, really nice. Oh, and look, have you seen the picture of Rafia's baby, a little baby girl? So let's have a look around school, eh? Last year was a particularly successful year for us. It was lovely to be recognised as an outstanding school for the second time running by Ofsted. But we're not resting on our laurels. Temperature Institute Schools is one of the best schools in the country. Morning. And we're still building upon those successes. As you can see, my chair and vice chair, Donna and Sherry, are in looking at books, making sure things are just how they should be. Morning, Donna. I'm Sharon. And if you see them around the playground, say hello to them. I'd love to get some feedback from you. Something I'm really passionate about at Thames Your Infants is our attainment. We want to try our best to help every child and their family achieve their best, and we do. Our children are particularly well prepared for the next stage of their learning. And how do we get six and seven year olds to write like this with a very, very glamorous, prestigious year three pen? Well, for me, it's about high quality learning. My teachers are particular skills of delivering all the hits all the time. It's listening to your children, talking to them, questioning them, how, why, what, and it's reading. Every child reads every day, and I need you to do this at home, please. Just 10 minutes, 15 at the most, hearing your child read their book. We're hoping for our nursery children, some of them, when they're ready, to end the year on read. By the end of reception, we want some children to aspire to get to green and maybe orange. In year one, it's about getting to purple or gold. As you get beyond gold, it's about it's less about reading every word and more about developing understanding, influence, what's going on in the text. And by year two, we want our children to aspire to be at lime green or the prestigious heights of copper and beyond. Please help me do your bit by reading at home with your child. You know, I want our children to have the best possible learning environment. We've invested a lot of time and energy, and money actually, in creating a really beautiful area for the children to play and to learn in. And this year, well, we can have iPads, and I'm coming to that in a little bit. We can have iPads and have award-winning technology, but how about a little bit of wildlife? And this is where the chickens and the hens and the goats, and if I get my way, some piggy wiggies as well, are going to live. We're going to have a little farm this year because I'd like the children to to develop their outdoor ed skills and to learn about the environment. And wouldn't that be good? Feeding the hens first thing in the morning. I bet I end up doing that. This then, do it again. And that's reception because already we're teaching children their initial letter sounds. The teaching gets complex really quickly in reception. A nursery too, actually. And that's why we need your children in every single day. When they're poorly, they need to be at home and they need to get better. But for the rest of the time, they need to be in school. Every single day, we're teaching the children different sounds. If they miss that, they'll never lost that. And we'll help them catch up. But that's never, that's never as good as getting learning, fantastic learning like this. And across. Get your fingers out. Start from the top. Go down. Cross. On the edge. My teachers are also really excited down. about what they do. Please, Cross. just ask them. Start from the top. What did you do today in school? And Cross. they'll tell you. But please, get your child in every day. Because why would you want them to miss out from something as fantastic as this? You go down. Something I'm really excited about this year is our lunchtime provision. We've got very hard-working, dedicated staff employed by New York Council who work really, really hard to offer our children a very varied and nutritious and actually delicious um, um, lunchtime dinner and breakfast club too. Um, I need you to help me with that though, please. Now you know 
the, the school dinners are free. And I pick up the cost for that. But if you would normally be entitled to three school meals, then please help us by still applying for it. Because if you were normally entitled to three school meals, the school gets some additional funding, something like £1,400 per child for every successful application. So please, I know it's a little bit of paperwork, but please keep on that because it gives us more money to invest in those children to ensure that they achieve as well as any other child. What's for dinner? I really believe in careful relationships between parents and staff. We talk about parents as partners and I believe that winning combination, that winning formula really, really works. If things do go wrong, they are, are largely always unintentional. And when that's the case, it's about as quick as you can, not worrying, giving us the benefit of the doubt, having a word with the class teacher. And if you need to see one of our leaders, now who's that? That's Claire, Majid, Amy, Amir, Rosa, or Kelly, or even I, just come in and talk, and together we'll do our best to work things out. Wow! And my goodness me, when I was in nursery, I never went to the moon and had picnics. And can you imagine being three? Can you imagine being three, turning four, and having that excitement? That's why nursery, I believe, is the most important year in the whole school. We teach children those pre-learning skills, those self-help school skills, those um, personal, social, emotional skills that give children a really, really good foundation. If you get that right, and that's by getting the children in every day and valuing that learning, then they can build upon it in reception and year one and year two, then my goodness me, they're away. Do you know, everyone is working flat out to do their best and that's the energy and passion that we have at our academy and pa parents tell us that when they come in they can feel that. For me, my passion is getting into those classes. Then I can feel the atmosphere, I can check out what the quality of learning is like, I can see how well those children are doing and I can cross-reference the standards in those books. Um, and I t every week I teach one, one and a half days a week. Claire, as you know, she teaches two. But it's, it's, it's very tricky to juggle all of that. You can see that she's in a meeting at the moment. Excuse me, knocking. Claire, can you just wave to the camera, please? Hello. So it's about juggling all of that. And thankfully, Claire, my deputy head, is as passionate about all that as I am. So if you can't see me, you've you always got a chance to have a word with Claire. It's going to be a really successful year and it's got off to a really great start. What I particularly like at the moment is this, is this connection that's going on between the teachers and the teaching staff, and all the staff actually, and the children. That's a, a really nice tight bond which is um, developing some really good relationships that's making happy, confident, empowered children. This is a school where children are seen as leaders and, that, and, that's, a lovely, and that's a lovely feeling. So some quick messages, yeah? Very soon, look out for Let's Get Cooking and Sports Together, where you come in, where you come in and do some family cooking or some family sports with the children. If you want to help out in school, see Barry, Mr. McHugh, Barry McHugh, and he'll, and he'll organise and he'll organise you. Thirdly, please, with jewellery, children shouldn't have jewellery in school. That's quite tricky, especially when I just have their ear pierced. But if you can help me, I appreciate that. That's for health and safety reasons. And finally, the iPads. Good news is that they will all be out. They'll all be out before Christmas. 5th of December, fun day is the day, is, is our deadline. But we've, because we've delayed it and bought in bulk, we've got the price down. We've got it down quite a bit and we're going to pass that price drop directly on to you. So that will, be, that will help you a little bit. Every little helps. Come into school, have a look around, enjoy it's really nice and, and pop in and say hello. Take care.